What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Rocky IV, Rocky vs. Drago, the ultimate director's cut, starring and written and directed by Sylvester Stallone. Also features uh, Bridget Nielsen, uh, Tyler Sher, uh, Burt Young, uh, what's his name, uh, Dolph Lundgren making his um, debut. I believe this was his very first film. This is the recut of the original Rocky that came out in 1985. Uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, took this cut and made some uh, changes to it by taking some scenes out and putting other scenes in its place. But the specific runtime is the same exact as the original in this one. Uh, but there's a difference in the change in the atmosphere of the film. Uh, that's what the original Rocky IV was very high on the uh, male testosterone and uh, with the with the uh, pretty brilliant soundtrack and uh, training montages. Where uh, this one, on the other hand, it focuses more, I guess, on like um, the drama. You know, uh, unlike the like the the previous installments of the other Rockies, where it had a lot of drama. Um, it, it, it definitely feels like a much different film in comparison to the original 1985 Rocky IV. Um, and this one, um, when I guess Apollo Creed has the fight with Drago, rather than it being completely one-sided, uh, Apollo Creed actually puts up a fighting chance against him, um, in the recut of this. Uh, not to mention the character Drago himself. He gets very humanized in this version. In comparison to how he was in the original. In the original uh, Rocky IV, he was like an unstoppable, uh, you know, killing machine. Very intimidating, very scary, you know, very fierce. Uh, but in this version, they, they humanize him. They give him a little bit more dialogue and whatnot for uh, this director's cut. And uh, there's also some other scenes that get added, just like some more dialogue between, I guess, Adrian and Rocky regarding his fight that leads up to facing Drago. Uh, some other uh, minor changes that Stallone made to this uh, director's cut is that he um, changed some of the colors of, like, the hue on uh, the picture. So, you know, the... He changed the way some of the, the color references. For example, like when they do um, the little No Easy Way Out uh, flashback montage covering the previous Rocky films, that they, they changed that to black and white. And then uh, some of the other, I guess, uh, montage sequences, like when he first gets to Russia and he starts uh, training, they, they, they changed some of the colored references on that as well. So uh, he, he did... Uh, uh, did, did a number of things to make this a different cut in comparison to the original. Uh, now, when this film came out, uh, or when it was re-released in, uh, I guess, select theaters and whatnot, it received mixed reviews. Some people liked it, the original, while well, some preferred uh, this new uh, recut by Stallone, this new director's cut. Uh, but... But no, they come off as two different completely films. Like the original Rocky was more focused on the training montages, the soundtrack, and whatnot. And the main focus was the complete fight. Where the Rocky Ultimate Director's Cut for Part 4 has a bit more drama, a, a bit more character development, and whatnot. And there's some, I guess, a little bit more in-depth when it comes to... Uh, I guess the storyline for the film and whatnot, but you know you watch the two complete different cuts of Rocky IV and they're like completely two different films and whatnot. Not to mention Stallone actually changed some of the uh, the, the, the soundtracks that he was using for this Ultimate Director's Cut. Not to not only that, but he also um, you know changed the intro and whatnot. So yeah, it's it's. It's like you're watching it, but um, you're you're like, oh, I didn't see that scene there before. I didn't see that scene there. Another major difference is they removed Polly's robot from uh, the film as well. You know, 
which I remember, it, you know, the running joke with the whole robot in the original one. People always joke about, like, oh, Rocky IV, yes, that's the one with the robot, yeah. And this one, they completely cut uh, Pauly's robot out, totally and completely, you know, so. So, yeah, uh, okay, now, my thoughts and opinions on this new uh, Ultimate Director's Cut that was released over a year or two ago is that, um, it, it, you know, it has its... Uh, uh, I guess good. Uh, there's some some good parts about it, and there's some other bad parts about it. There's other parts where it kind of feels a bit off. Um, I know Stallone said, I guess, in I guess the special features of this director's cut. I guess if he were to um, redo Rocky IV all over again, he would not kill off Apollo Creed. In fact, he would go in a different direction, which all which would alter the Rocky franchise totally and completely. You know. In fact, we probably wouldn't have uh, received uh, any of the Creed films in the process, you know. Which, uh, I believe the new Creed film, Creed 3, is being put on uh, delay. And unfortunately, um, Sylvester Stallone has no part in that project whatsoever. His name is not attached, not even as a producer. So, he's only involved in the first two Creed films. And apparently, MGM is working on creating a... Um, I guess a Drago movie spinoff, apparently, and Stallone's not attached to that project either. But anyways, back to Rocky IV, uh, the ultimate director's cut. Uh, I didn't think it was a bad film. I thought it was actually pretty well grounded. Um, though I think it's better than the 1985 original. Um, well, I don't know. if I guess if I were to choose between the two, I probably would choose the 1985 original. I thought it was very, very motivational, you know, like, uh, so like the Rocky 3 and 4, they're like kind of in sync with each other because they come off as of like action films and whatnot, um, but this one feels like a completely uh, different film altogether, the runtime is the same as the original, they just remove stuff and then added other scenes and whatnot, but the runtime is pretty much the same. Uh, now, do I recommend for you guys to watch this? Well, if you're a big, I guess, Rocky fanatic or a, a fan of Sylvester Stallone in general, then I recommend that you check it out. Um, if not, then you could probably um, bypass it and probably watch something else. Um, I don't know if they actually released a physical uh, copy of this, like out on like Blu-ray or DVD. I bought my version on the Vudu uh movie tv streaming service so that's where i bought my copy of the film but anyways have you guys seen uh rocky for rocky versus Drago, the ultimate director's cut did you guys like this movie did you guys hate this movie um do you prefer this ultimate director's cut over the original or vice versa let me know comment below and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys around for the next video. Now, y'all have a great day now. Peace.